episode 1.7. The question I have for today. For my school science class, I'm trying to make a simple motor out of a fidget spinner. The video I tried following uses wires hitting the metal of a magnet to switch an electromagnet on and off. I can't seem to get these wire contacts working well. Is there a better way to do this? From Ethan. So what is a fidget spinner? Essentially it's a toy that spins and it's meant to reduce stress, so keep one handy while reading YouTube comments. You can also do tricks with them as they balance well because of gyroscopic stabilization while spinning. Okay, let's turn this thing into a motor. What you'll need is a fidget spinner, three rare earth magnets, a thin magnet wire, a reed switch, connecting wire, and three 1.5 volt batteries. Small rare earth magnets you can find online or electronic supply stores or even office supply stores as they're used for um, magnetic whiteboard magnets. Where to find magnet wire? You can find this online or electronic supply stores or within old electronics such as motors or transformers. So magnet wire is copper wire coated with almost invisible thin insulation. For this project I got some magnet wire from a toroidal transformer. For the reed switch you could find this online or electronic supply stores or any old electronics that would have a magnetic switch. A reed switch is simply a switch that turns on or off in response to a magnet. What you're after is one that turns on in response to a magnet, so that's a normally open one. For this project I found one in an old bicycle wheel speed sensor. Okay, let's put this thing together. On the fidget spinner place the three magnets on each arm, so all three magnets have the same north-south orientation. Coil the magnet wire around something to make what's known as a voice coil. I'm using around 1.5 meters of wire with around 30 windings. I haven't done the calculations on this, so this is something you could experiment with. You could also use an electromagnet instead of the voice coil. Strip the coating off the ends of the magnet wire, attach the connecting wires and tape this to a desk. Check that the coil is conductive and has a small amount of resistance. Now connect one end of the voice coil to the reed switch and the other end to another connecting wire and attach this to the desk. This will switch the voice coil on and off using the magnets on the fidget spinner. Have the reed switch and the voice coil apart roughly equal to the distance between the arms on the fidget spinner, although you'll need to adjust this distance to make it work. Connect the three 1.5 volt batteries together in series and use this to complete the circuit. To make this clearer, I've got the circuit diagram here. One thing to note is that it doesn't matter which direction the batteries are in, as long as they're all in the same direction. So add the fidget spinner so it clears the coils and the reed switch. This sort of motor isn't likely to start from zero speed. However, if you give it a gentle push, it should start spinning on its own. It usually appears to favour spinning in one direction. I left this running for over an hour and it seemed pretty stable. How this works is that one magnet goes past the reed switch and this sends a pulse of electricity to the voice coil. This uh, generates a magnetic field from the voice coil and this magnetic field either attracts or repels the second magnet and this moves the fidget spinner depending on orientation. So that's the simplest way to turn a fidget spinner into a motor that I could think of. It's a very simple motor that wouldn't be very efficient and in the long term is probably not very reliable. The reed switch isn't really designed for this sort of usage and will probably fail after a while.
However, I think this simple motor is a good start to a science project, and there's probably a hundred ways out there to make it work better, and uh, that part's for you to work out.